Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring basic OSPF v3 in a single area. Here we can see our objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 2 1, configure OSPF v3 routing. In part 2, verify connectivity. Also, we will go through the background. In this activity, the IPv6 addressing is already configured. So we are responsible for configuring the three router topology with the basic single area OSP of V3 and then verifying connectivity between end devices. Coming to uh, part two one, configure OSP of V3 routing. In that step one, configure OSP of V3 on R1, R2 and R3. Coming to the topology, here we can see the routers R1, R2 and R3, right? Uh, use the following requirements to configure OSPF routing on all three routers. So enable IPv6 routing, process ID should be 10, router ID for each router for R1, 1.1.1.1 and for R2, 2.2.2.2. And for R3, 3.3.3.3. Enable OSPF v3 on each interface, right? So this is what we have to do uh, on uh, each router. They given a note here, packet tracer version 6.0.1 does not support the auto cost reference bandwidth command. So uh, we will not be adjust bandwidth cost in this activity, right? So we are not going to do this uh, bandwidth. Ad no, we are not going to adjust this bandwidth in this activity. Well, first of all, we will do it on uh, R1. Enable configure terminal. Now we will enable IPv6. Uh, unicast routing IPv6 uh, unicast routing and now IPv6 router OSPF and the process ID as specified 10 right now we will uh, set the router ID 1.1.1.1 also we will clear IPv6 OSPF process so we will Come to privileged exit mode, clear IPv6 OSPF process, yes. Now we are going to uh, enable OSPF v3 on each interface. Uh, coming to the topology, here we can see uh, the interfaces uh, uh, on R1, here we can see three interfaces, uh, two serial and two one gigabit uh, Ethernet. Uh, we will verify those uh, uh, interfaces coming to CLI here we are going to give show IPv6 interface brief and here we can see the interface names gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 is up also we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 yes so we are going to enable OSP of v3 on uh, these interfaces on R1 First of all, we will go to the interface a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0, configure terminal, we have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to give IPv6 OSPF 10 and to area 0. Right. Now we will go to the next interface, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and IPv6 OSPF 10. 10 area 0 also we will go to the next interface that is interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and here we are going to give IPv6 OSP of process ID is 10 and area 0 right now we will do it on R2 Enable configure terminal here. We are going to enable IPv6 uh, Unicast routing so IPv6 Unicast routing Now IPv6 router OSPF process ID as specified 10 
and now we are going to give the router id 2.2.2.2 and also we will clear ipv6 osp of process clear ipv6 osp of process yes coming to the topology here we can see uh, three interfaces on r2 also uh, we will verify these uh, interfaces show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 right so we are going to uh, enable uh, this uh, ospf v3 on uh, these interfaces now first of all we will enable ospf v3 on gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 configure terminal then we have to go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to enable ospf v3 ipv6 ospf process id is 10 and area 0 now we will go to the next interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we are going to enable OISP of V3 OISP of 10 area 0 and the next interface interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and we are going to enable that right loading done IPv6 OISP of 10 area 0 Now we will do it on R3. Enable configure terminal. Here also we will enable IPv6 unicast routing. Right. Now IPv6 router OSP of process ID is 10. And now we will give the router ID. 3.3.3.3 also we will uh, clear uh, ipv6 osp of process clear ipv6 osp of process yes now we will check the interfaces on r3 here also we can see three interfaces we will verify on r3 uh, show IPv6 interface brief and here we can see that gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 so we are going to enable uh, OISP of v3 on uh, all these interfaces first of all we will do it on uh, the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 Configure terminal interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to enable IPv6 OSP of 10 area 0 and now we will do it on the next interface interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IPv6 OSP of 10 area 0 Coming to the next interface, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1, IPv6 OSP of 10, area 0. Yes, so uh, we configured OSP of V3 uh, routing on all these uh, routers R1, R2 and R3. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Verify OSP of routing is operational. Verify each router has established adjacency with the other two routers. Verify the routing table has a route to every network in the topology. Right, so we will verify OSP of routing now. First of all, we will verify on R1. Enable show IPv6 OSP of right we will check the neighbor here we can see uh, the neighbor id 3.3.3.3 and 2.2.2.2 right also we will check the uh, routing table show ipv6 uh, route right 
yes here we can see yes the, here we can see the path or SPF right so now we will go to R2 here we can see on R2 uh, R2 got the two uh, remote network uh, sorry three remote networks here we can see that so that should be a uh, land by R2 okay so IPv6 uh, OSPF neighbor we will check the neighbor yes here we can see that also we will check show IPv6 route right here we can see that here is the path, first path here we can see here we can see the second one and here we can see the third one right well first of all we will verify on R1 enable show IPv6 or SPF uh, first we will check the neighbor list right yes here we can see that neighbor ID 3.3.3.3 and 2.2.2.2 right now we will check the routing table show IPv6 route and here we can see the routes lend by uh, the protocol OSPF here we can see the second one and here is the third one right uh, coming to R2 uh, R2 uh, got uh, three uh, remote networks so these networks should be lend by this uh, R2 we will verify that on routing table enable uh, before that we will check the neighbor show IPv6 uh, OSPF uh, neighbors neighbor right here we can see yes also we will check the routing table so IPv6 route and so here we can see the three path yes here we can see the first one here we can see the second one and here is the third one coming to R3 so ipv6 ospf neighbor and here we can see the neighbor list also we will check the uh, routing table so ipv6 route well here we can see two path also the third one now we will come to uh, part two verify connectivity each PC should be able to ping the other two PCs if not check your configurations right we will check that they given a note here this activity is graded using only connectivity tests the instructions window will not show your score right here we can see it is not showing the score uh, to see your score click check results assessment items to see the results of a specific connectivity test, click check results connectivity test. Right here we can see that check results. Here we can see assessment item. Yes, it's completed. Connectivity test. Here we can see that points. Right. Anyway, we will come to our connectivity. We are going to ping from this PC1 to PC2. So we will get the IP address of PC2. IPv6 config. And here we can see the address. And to copy this address. Coming to PC1. Desktop, command prompt. We are going to ping to this PC2. Yes, we are getting the replay. We will check from PC3 also. Ping to PC2. Yes, we are getting the replay. Well, that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, that is uh, configuring basic OSPF V3 in a single area. My dear friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel. 
so that you will get latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you